Now, sports director Brad Johansson with the stories behind the scores. Evening, everyone. The Pirates lost four starting pitchers before the season opened, and they have struggled with injuries all year long, just like the Reds. Now, one is 15 games out of first, the other 17 and a half games out of first. The worst home team versus the worst road team. Ah, let the cellar series begin. Pirates acting like they want out of the cellar early off Lance Davis, who looked great last outing. <laughs> Already up two zip in the first. Derek Bell, ground rule double, scores two more. Four zip Pirates. Reds get some back in the first. Sean Casey on his 27th birthday. Gets through, meets scores, 4 1, bases loaded. Schmidt hits the net on a hand. He stayed in, junior scores 4 2. But Davis took a big step back tonight in the second. Ramirez with two outs, gone with two on, 7 2. Reds do nothing more until the fifth. Bill Selby hitting great. Another RBI, two out single to score Booney. Nice slide, 8 3. But whoever took the mound for the Reds tonight got a hit. Jack Wilson to the gap, two more score. 10 3. The Reds look bad against the worst. 10 5 is your final. On the board, the Astros over the Brewers. Dodgers looking good. Yeah. Gonna be okay. You think anybody would, would you care if we just called the season right now? This is how you know it's a bad year. When the season is done, go back and look at how many times. The Reds got decent pitching and couldn't score any runs. And how many times there were runs and the pitching just wasn't there. Last night, no pitching. They lose. What was it? 10 to 5? Tonight, Elmer descends, was hung out to dry. Elmer only threw two bad pitches. This was the first one to John Vanderwall. The camera guy, well, I'll tell you about him in a second, but Vanderwall's home run was superior. One zip. Elmer's other mistake here to Brian Giles. Watch this. The camera guy falls off his stool. But he picked himself up and caught it when it went over the wall. Descends was fine. Six innings, only three earned runs. But the Reds only got five hits tonight. This caused somewhat of a gasp. Junior in center field tonight, flagging down the hit. Top part of the body goes one way, the legs go the other. He was limping, but then here in the ninth, he looked fine. Trying to jumpstart the comatose hitting. Griffey lays down a bunt and legs it out. Dimitri Young had two of the five Reds hits tonight, but his leather was better. Look at this. Boone had the night off. This was a major league play. Enjoy it while you can. Dimitri is only wet renting these days. It was a 3-1 ball game in the bottom of the ninth. The Reds had runners on the corners with nobody out. Here's Young, but the Pirates gladly gave up this one run to get a couple of outs on the Taylor made double play. After a walk, this will end it. Jason LaRue goes quietly. The Pirates have now made it two straight over the Reds. 3-2 was the final tonight. Elmer made some mistakes, a couple of mistakes, and uh, you know, other than that, he pitched pretty well. I mean, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, scored more than two. I mean, tonight, you know, last night I was pitching tonight, and it was bad. The bat's not going. Bigger than any opening day he has ever pitched. This is what Jose Rio is telling us tonight. Rio goes to Dayton, and what could be a make-or-break moment for his quest for a comeback? Now you know the story. The World Series MVP has three major elbow surgeries, disappears from Major League Baseball for six seasons. Suddenly, he resurfaces three months ago, asking the Reds for a tryout, part of which will be tomorrow night at Single A Dayton. Well, really, I'm looking forward to tomorrow is to stay healthy. Go out there tomorrow and uh, pitch three innings, uh, whatever as many pitches take to get through it, and bounce back with no pain. I mean, my number really don't count. I know I can get anybody out what I have right now. What I don't know is how healthy and for how long I'm going to stay. Rio and Dayton tomorrow night. But for the last six years, he's also had a smile on his elbow, a long crescent-shaped scar resulting from his five surgeries. That's kept Rio out of the big league since 1995. But tonight, Jose began another comeback in Dayton. With a sold-out stadium watching and a much younger teammate shooting home video, Jose Rijo pitched in a game that counts for the first time in six years. In three innings, he gave up three hits and one run, hit 88 miles an hour on the stadium radar gun, and struck out the last batter he faced with a vintage Rijo slider. I wasn't really looking for or worried about how many, how many uh, strikeouts that I get today, how many hit that I give up. I was more worried about how my arm going to feel and how my arm going to hold on. And I'm very, very happy the way I feel. Fifth third field here in Dayton is a long way from the major leagues and an even longer way from the Dominican Republic. But back on top of a pitcher's mound, Jose Rijo appeared to be right at home. I think uh, two, three, or maybe four more start. I think I'll be right back in Cincinnati. 
That's how good I feel today. But first things first, Rio expects his next start to be at Class AA Chattanooga. The only thing going to stop me from keep pitching is going to be my elbow. Or uh, Cincinnati said no, we quit seeing an offer. We don't think we have a chance. But I think what I show up there today, I think I deserve a chance. Dayton, by the way, won tonight's game 10-6. to Now on to the Reds. Today's game against Pittsburgh was delayed by rain for an hour and a half. Once the rain stopped, the deluge began. Rookie Brian Reith on the mound with an 0-6 record and a 7.12 ERA. That's the second batter of the game, Jack Wilson. A home run after a leadoff walk, two zip Pirates. Later in the first, Brian Giles hits the first of his two home runs in the game. Reith gave up six runs in less than four innings. His ERA rose to 781. The Reds trailed 7-1 to one in the sixth when Brady Clark hit a towering fly ball down the left field line just barely over the wall for his third home run. But the hits kept coming for the Pirates. 19 in all, including three hits and two home runs for Molar High product, Adam Heisdu. The Reds fall into last place in the NL Central with a 14-3 loss to Pittsburgh. That was embarrassing to, you know, you know, to play that crappy, uh, you know, it's not okay. And, and, you know, I think everyone in here needs to look at themselves and, and be better, period. After the game, overmatched rookie Brian Reith was sent down to Class AA Chattanooga. An addition to the roster will be announced tomorrow. Sean Casey had to leave today's game in the second inning after being hit on the elbow by a pitch. It doesn't appear serious. And that's good news for Casey because today he was named to the National League All-Star team, the only Red selected. It'll be Sean's second All-Star game appearance. He was 0 for 1 two years ago at Fenway Park. I mean, it's great to make the, make the team. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's weird talking about it after today's game. But, yeah, it was, it was exciting. Definitely exciting to go back to Seattle. And I'm, I'm excited to represent the Reds out there. Hey, everyone, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, the Reds were in last place. And today... They are a half game out of last place. Reds desperate for good pitching. Got a solid start from Jose Acevedo. Six plus, eight hits, one run. Second straight win for him. And Aaron Boone is waking up, folks, in the fifth. Breaking the scoreless tie. Solo job to left center. That is his seventh on the year. Up 2 nothing. Jason Kendall single to center. Bringing home Abraham Nunez Jr.'s throw. Just a touch too late. That cuts it to 2-1 in the sixth. Pirates had a chance to tie an inning later. Muller's Adams highs due to short. Vanderwall hesitating at third, then taken off. Gun down by Pokey, still 2-1. Bottom of the inning, Boone with a second two-homer game of his career. Two-run shot, starting to get in a groove before the break. And still same frame, Brady Clark adding his fourth homer on the year. Clark still showing he belongs in the bigs. Three-run shot, 7-1, your final. Yeah, it was a good win for us. Uh, you know, we've been reeling here a little the last few days, and, uh, you know, Jose comes up with a huge performance, Pokey with a huge defensive play, and then we got a couple big hits, and, um, you know, that's good baseball right there. And, you know, we got 80 games to go show the world that that's the kind of play we're capable of.